This is part 30 of what it's like to be a private chef. I ended up staying out here for this client the entire weekend. Yesterday, I posted the brunch that I made. Today, I'm posting the dinner. A lot of people that are new to my page say I don't make things from scratch. So let me show you this custard that I'm working on for my homemade banana pudding. Right now, what I'm doing is called tempering. I'm transferring some of my hot liquid to the eggs to bring them up to temperature before I dump them in the whole thing. That way, it'll keep my eggs from scrambling and my custard will thicken just the way that I want it to. Like that. This that banana pudding that the grandmamas make, baby. Ain't no jello pack or none of that over here. Now, can we get into my homemade cornbread that y'all keep calling Jiffy? I slowed the video down so y'all can see that cornmeal and bacon powder and all those measuring cups in the background. Also, I have a recipe for my homemade cornbread on my site. Cornbread is actually one of the easiest things you can make from scratch, but anyways, I made this cornbread because we got dressing on the menu, as you can see from the ingredients. First thing after the cornbread, I sweat down my bell pepper and onion. Then I added some shredded chicken to this, along with cream of chicken too. I used a little chicken stock to bring everything together, and after I baked it, that's how it came out looking, you know. I got a bunch of cheeses over here shredded up for my mac and cheese. And yeah, I make my mac and cheese with a roux. But my sauce still thick, though. It's not like that runny stuff. Like, my mac and cheese stay together, though. And I make my sweet potatoes on the stove top like my grandma used to do it. I don't do them in the oven. And look at this. This speaks for itself. If you think these sweet potatoes ain't made right, then you're going to have to show me yours. Because, hey. Then I got some peach Hennessy wings on the menu. Look at those. I baked them instead of frying them this time because usually I fry them. But they came out just as delicious. That sauce is the boss. I know y'all heard that before. Now let's get into my homemade creamy mashed potatoes that y'all said came from the box. They were dry and unseasoned hmm i also have a tutorial video on this page of me making these same potatoes from scratch but y'all got it all of my homemade recipes can be found in my new ebook the cook up that's on my website at uniqueeats.net next thing on the menu of this feast we got some smothered turkey wings that was in there cooking up with that corn oh my goodness these came out so tender and Look at that gravy. I'm really good at making gravy, but once again, y'all said my gravy come from a box. Hmm. <laughs> now I got them collard greens cooking up. I put turnip bottoms in mine. Another thing I got from my grandma. A lot of greens these days don't have no turnip bottoms in it. And this was the final spread right here. My clients love me so much, they asked me how much more to keep you. We ended up coming to an agreement of an additional $1,000. Yes, I charge for my time. Yes, I charge to travel out of state. Yes, you must cover my travel expenses, my flight, my Airbnb or hotel stay, Uber. Yes, you must buy your own groceries. All of that. And there is a service fee for labor. I cook this entire meal by myself. Usually, I don't eat with the clients, but this time I did. It was Thanksgiving all over again. 3500 bucks was spent for this entire experience. You know I had to cook it up. 